something very rare that we look forward to every year for the last, well, this is the sixth one. So I guess this is the sixth year in a row. The Boss Hog. Um, very limited. Really happy to have a bottle to share with you and to taste. Aha, I'm unveiling it just like that. This one called the Samurai Scientist. And that's a samurai on top of there, right? It's a pig dressed up like a samurai. If you came across one of those, what you might say. But uh, I'm, I'm really thrilled to be tasting this with you. Uh, the Samurai Scientist is dedicated to the gentleman that brought Koji fermentation to the West. They called him the Samurai Scientist. And this is a dedication to him, of course, at the same time, raising a toast to Dave Pickerel, who passed away this past year. And um, we're, we're, we're really thrilled to be trying this and, and letting you know what we think of the new Boss Hog because it has been finished in used Wumeshu barrels. Wumeshu. Wumeshu. What is Wumeshu? It's fun to say. And I had to practice saying it a few times because I don't drink Wumeshu every day. It comes from a brewery in Japan. Many breweries make it in Japan. It is a plum wine. This particular one, a barrel that housed, or several barrels that housed uh, Whistle Pig, Rye Whiskey, were emptied, fresh rye whiskey still trapped in the barrel, traveled to Japan, bam, the Wu Meshu goes into it. Barrel ages that Wu Meshu and gets the rye whiskey on that barrel of Wu Meshu, right? So that then becomes a Wu Meshu finished in a whistle pig barrel. And that same barrel comes back to the US, the same one that housed the Wu Meshu, trapped with both the rye whiskey and the Wu Meshu, and then not a 10 or a 12 year old whistle pig, but a 16 year old rye whiskey from Alberta goes into that barrel. So it's had the rye, the Wumeshu, then back to the US with that rye. Finishes it, and then it becomes the Boss Hog. This one is bottled at around 120.5 proof. So just a little over 60% alcohol. Really, just such a unique flavor. I've, I've already been sampling a little bit, as you see, but I'm going to pour just a little bit more of the Boss Hog and tell you, because there's some really unique notes. And again, I've had Plum Wine, I've had the Wumeshu, but this is doing unique things that I've not seen done in any whiskey. And this is the world's first ever Wumeshu finished bourbon, not bourbon, rye, rye whiskey barrel. I don't even know if they've done it with bourbon yet, so. We'd say the world's first wu you American whiskey, probably. So really soft, creamy notes off that. Um, and I get I get floral, and, and that makes sense because there is some floral note to Whistle Pig, even at 10 years old. Um, some, but the kind of floral that it goes into, once that plum wine hits it, doesn't drink at 120 proof. It's it's warming, but very happy. It's a very happy, kind of lively whiskey on the tongue. And I get lavender. Lavender is the flower I'm getting. I'm getting floral, but I'm getting a really beautiful lavender note um, against that, that rye grain. And I'm also getting this buttery note, too. So it's almost kind of like, um, maybe say a croissant, like a, a pastry that's been like buttered with kind of a lavender butter. It's really unique and goes a lot of places. It's not just like one noted too. It has a lot of layers to it. So the lavender butter, kind of a spicy pastry, some of that rye spice. And then it just finishes really creamy, almost like um, a really beautiful cream that you would get on a latte. I mean, it just, it's just really beautiful. In fact, this would actually probably, if you're gonna like do a dessert course, and you're gonna have a latte someplace in there, a really beautiful coffee. It'll probably go really nicely next to that. So, it goes a lot of places. It certainly is something that's very special. And um, if there's still some out there, look for it. Every single Boss Hog has been surprising, fun in its own way, and has told a story that uh, really no other distillery has told. So this is truly, um, a real masterpiece. And inside of this uh, stand, you see 
a origami that's already been made for you. I didn't actually make this. Maybe I should work on my origami skills. But it is a pig done with some uh, Japanese uh, writing and also uh, basically a pig's, pig's backside that's been done over and over again. So you get that little part of it too as a fun little... Uh, it's a fun little toast. So, raising a toast to our friends at Whistle Pig and, to, of course, to the memory of Dave Pickerel. Cheers. I'm Tom Fisher of BourbonBlog.com, and this is the review of the Boss Hog 6th Edition, released in 2019.